What's going on everybody? It's your boy Theodore Eardrum back with Eightfold Fitness. Now today we're back with another form fixers episode and this time we are doing shoulders and I wanted to do a face cam commentary for this one just because the last one with the background and the text at the intro I thought wasn't too great and with using myself in the video I can show more visual representations of what I'm talking about. So for shoulders, I'm gonna take you through the three most prominent exercises that hit every single head in the shoulder, the front delt, the side delt, and the rear delt. And I show you guys a clip of the bad form at first, how unfortunately most people are doing these types of exercises. And then I'll show you the proper form and a couple variations to these exercises as well. And also before I get into the clips, if you do learn something from these clips, leave a like, and if you are new to my channel, I'm a vegan-based fitness channel, so if you enjoy those types of videos, then hit the subscribe button, it's right down below. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into those clips. All right, let's get into the first exercise, the standing barbell military press. Here you can see some pretty bad time under tension and a pretty narrow grip and also I'm just kind of throwing the weight up there. And if you can see right here where I paused it, I'm not actually engaging my traps and this can cause a shoulder impingement, which is inflammation within the shoulder joints. It actually shows you that you don't have good shoulder mobility. So when I get to the next clip, you'll see a huge difference when I'm all the way at the top. So here's proper form with actually a nice little variation which hits all three heads and gives you great time under tension because I'm not really locking out at the top. But here again, I'm paused. You can see a huge difference at the top. My traps are engaged and this will not cause any shoulder impingement. It's no injury risk. And you'll also be getting a much better contraction and you'll be working all three delt muscles, the front, side, and rear. So now we're gonna get on to the next exercise, which is the side lateral dumbbell raise. What everybody pretty much does for these is just way too much momentum, a loose grip, and got bad time under tension. You can see here that you're not really getting a Great contraction. I mean, it is pretty good, but if you're just throwing the weight like most people do or some people do at the gym like this, then you're really not getting the best time under tension. And that is what TUT is actually, the TUT that you see on the screen there. It is time under tension. And that is really what's going to build muscle, guys. As much as you wanna lift heavier, you gotta work on your form first. Now let's get onto the proper form, which is some great time under tension. We get no momentum here because it's a variation and this will make sure you're getting way more sore. I promise you that. It'll be a better fiber breakdown. So let me give you the rundown of this variation. So. First, you go up halfway, then you go all the way up and then back down halfway and then all the way up again and then that's a whole rep. So in regular speed, halfway, all the way up, halfway down, all the way up and all the way down and that is one whole rep for this one. I just recently started doing this type of side lateral raise and I use a lot lighter weights. Now we're on to the rear delt raise. We're getting a mediocre contraction in this type of exercise. And again, I'm just using the momentum, my whole body, and it's producing not very good time under tension. And you're gonna see in the next clip how much better the contraction is with this nice little variation. And here we go with the proper form and the variation. Great time under tension on this one, a much better contraction, and actually you're able to use heavier weight on this type of exercise. And what I like to call this is a rear delt row. So at the bottom here where I'm paused, your arm is completely straight, and then on the way up, 
You bend your elbow 90 degrees and you keep the dumbbell near your rear delts instead of near your lats like if you were doing a regular row. And to be honest, this is one of the best rear delt exercises I've ever done and the best contraction I've ever gotten in my rear delts from an exercise. And that is going to conclude the form fixers for this episode, the shoulder episode. So the three key points to take away from this one are don't use your momentum too much unless you're trying to really overload the weight. If you're doing some type of PR, then it's okay as long as you're not risking any type of injury. The next, work on your shoulder mobility to prevent shoulder impingement by engaging your traps, really just locking out at the top there with your traps. And then the last key point to take away is to incorporate some pause reps like you saw in the side delt lateral raise variation. So you pause halfway, go all the way up, pause halfway down, go all the way up again, and then all the way down, and then that's one rep. So incorporating pause reps even into the other two exercises I showed would be really beneficial to you. So that is gonna conclude this episode of Form Fixers. I hope you did enjoy this one and you can take something out of this one and hopefully try out these different shoulder variations that you've probably never even seen. And remember guys, hit all three heads of your shoulders. You gotta be hitting your front, your rear and your side delt if you really want those 3D shoulders, those fully developed shoulders. A lot of people pretty much just don't even pay attention to their rear delts and it hurts them in the long run because they have this type of imbalance in their body and it can cause bad mobility and it can cause bad posture as well. So that is going to be it and I will catch you guys in the next video.